Apparently, the theory is that Link and Malin ultimately end up together from this game. And I think that's interesting because this timeline, Twilight Princess comes, follows this timeline. And in Twilight Princess, Link can play upon a song, and it's the exact same song that obviously Malin teaches Link in this game. Um, but that song was passed down through Malin's family, which means that the Link in Twilight Princess, presumably, if it is, if it is, it is a straight timeline, it is in the future, after this game, presumably that Link is part of Malin's family, and the fact that, you know, the look, the way he looks, the fact that his name is Link, you know, the pieces kind of fit together. Um, and I think that's interesting. It was very interesting. It makes that it makes that interaction you have with her um, mean a lot. I also been watching Major Link. Go watch Major Link's Ocarina of Time animations. He literally. <laughs> After what I that gossip stone, that gossip stone message about Malin wanting a knight in shining armor. <laughs> There's literally a line in there. Spoilers. Literally a line where he's talking to her and she says, "Well, I guess that makes you my knight in shining armor. I always wanted one." Ugh, hit so much harder. I'm so glad I'm playing this game again. So many little things that. So many little things now that I'm older and picking up on. I keep, I, I don't want to forget any of it either. I really want to, like, digest um, the story and what characters are saying. <clears throat> I almost wonder if you could have had more unique interactions with Zelda before moving on to the future. I don't know. It's too late for that now, but <laughs> it was short-lived. But it was good all the same. I'm waiting for you. Dampe. <clears throat> What's really unnerving? Uh, <laughs> last episode may have ended a bit abruptly, but I, I kind it kind of dawned on me. What better note to end on than this horrifying, horrifying message from Dampe? He said. Whoever reads this, please enter my grave. I'll let you keep the stretching, shrinking keepsake. Well, this might, maybe. So, <laughs> who, who, who'd have thought that that might just be what we need? Uh, to move on, that might just be the thing in Kakaroko Village. We talked to everybody else. might not be damp is this might have been where we got the shield what's the shield yeah it was a shield okay so not this one however this new flowers and this one meaning it's probably a fresh grave don't hit me don't you dare oh how dare you Yep. <sighs> and we're back to Zelda. Last time, we made our way to the future. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it sucks. Um, Hyrule is destroyed. The royal family is no more. Zelda's nowhere to be seen. Um, and any survivors ran over to Kakarko Village. Did Link just sneeze? Oh, he shivered too. Believe what Sheik said in the go to Kakarko Village. 
And the first temple we need to tackle. We, we have been sent off after being uh, put in stasis for seven years so that we could gain strength, gain a body that could face the troubles ahead. Um, unbeknownst to us, uh, and we've been sent off to go collect the seven emblems. Seven? Five emblems? How many emblems? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Five emblems. We got the first one, which was the light. Roru, who's in the Temple of Light. Um, which is outside of this world. Sent us out on this quest. He's an interesting character. I don't think any of the other games have a character. Like, bring him back. <clears throat> but in order to get to the forest where Saria went to go check on the forest temple deep in the Lost Woods um, we've been there once it's where she was waiting for us when we went there initially um, but we when we sig when we called for her on the ocarina she seemed to be in huge freaking trouble which is upsetting uh but for now, we need to get the the means to go there. Oh yeah, if you wait long enough, Link kind of freaking starts starts like getting getting the chills. Young man, are you fast on your feet? Damn it! <laughs> Speaking of upsetting things, Dampe died. <laughs> I totally forgot that Dampe dies and, and is a ghost. Oh, man. The only thing to comfort me now in these troubling times is this boba tea. This Thai tea that I got. Oh. It's very good. It's thick, though. Mmm. Are you fast on your feet? I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. Oh god. Whoa. I don't like how he has the he has a freaking Poe laugh too. I don't know if there's anything waiting for you in the alternate directions. Oh crud. Okay, so the fire legitimately sends you off. But it also kind of gives you a guide mark in case you lose track of him. What the crap, man? Oh, there's redeads. I can hear them. Oh man, he puts them just where you don't want them to be. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I didn't really win the race. Dampe's ghost. That's a ghost of the dead gravekeeper. If you chase him, he might give you his keepsake. Thanks, Nobby. Oh, something I, I, po I was pointing this out to my friends too, really quick. Uh, while we have a moment. Something I thought was super interesting is that up till this point, Navi is very much just your quest log, basically. She's the thing, she reminds you exactly what you need to do. And the information she says, she relays it back, she relays the directions other people give you back at you. However, after the jump into the future, you can tell she kind of loses her bearings a little bit because the, the information she relays back to you is chic because that's the only direction you really have. You know you need to go to the forest, but you know you can't get into the forest temple yet. So you talk to she uh, when you talk to Navia after talking to Sheik and after Sheik tells you, hey, what the thing you need is in Kakariko Village, um, Sheik... I mean, Navi, when she when she relays that information to you again, she doesn't say, oh, we need to go here. We need to go to Kakaroka Village in order to get to the Forest Temple. She says, 
hey, um, can we really trust that Sheik person? They told us that we need to go to Kakaroko Village, but can we actually trust them? Navi has, like, doubt, which is the most change in, in her status quo that we've we've seen from her so far. Normally she's just spewing back, she's just repeating herself, but now she's actually starting to, like, kind of convey a little bit of her own feelings and thoughts, too, which I think is interesting. Young man, you are very quick to be able to keep up with me. As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the Hookshot. Its spring-loaded chain will pull you to any spot where the hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it will help you. I live here now, so come back again sometime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing. Be careful on your way back. <laughs> and then he leaves us. found the hook shot. It's a spring-loaded chain that you can cast out to hook things. You can use it to drag distant items towards you, or you can put, use it to pull yourself towards something. Nice. As far as things we use to uh, pull other things back to us, now notice we can't use magic beans because there is no use for these when you're an adult. Awesome. So now we have this, and this can actually. <clears throat> is it not a red dot? I thought they gave you a red dot. Dang. Nice. Oh, when you hold it down, they give you a red dot. Very cool. But yeah, something they don't tell you initially. They say you can hook to stickable things, which isn't very, um, isn't exactly very descriptive. But basically, what that translates to is, if it's wooden, you can probably hook shot to it, which is super, super handy. Oh. Oops. I hope there was nothing I needed to do back there. Oh, here's another thing too, when you see blocks like this. Hey, isn't that the same design that's on the door of time? Basically telling you. So that's now that's something else we can do now, which is cool. And that takes us straight here, which means we can use that. To get ourselves a heart piece. I think this is the last one we need, and then we get another heart. Very nice. Oh, we got, a, we got a second row now. Wow, we really don't need that many more. If we're already on a second row, that's kind of crazy. Normally, when I get to this part, I have like seven. <laughs> or so. I'm, I'm bad at these games. I'm get bad at getting a lot of things with these games. The most hearts I usually end a game on is like... Um... is getting I have like two over I have one full row and then two after that two into the second row that's usually the best I do in these games although I think one time I, I think I, I played through Talia Princess I was pretty thorough oh dang Link's still shivering he's still feeling the cold maybe maybe the top half of this building counts as a uh 
Maybe it counts as a um, part of the grave grave still. Don't know why Damp Bay's grave leaves up there, but oh well. Oh, whoops. These things we need most often, so... Ah, oh, not long enough. Yeah, something we can do is we can actually use this to hook onto roofs, which is interesting. Nice. Hey, bud. Finally got up here to you. <clears throat> hey, good to see you again. I'll give you this as a memento. Oh, okay. We're already getting started on... Man, Kakariko Village has a lot of hurt containers. Considering there are areas we still haven't even been to thoroughly in this game, the fact that we've gotten this many hurt containers just in Kakariko Village is kind of crazy. Okay, one moment, I'm gonna see- we can get another heart container, I guess, from Racing Dampe again, but the guide doesn't have uh, me doing that yet, and I'm gonna just try to- oh! <laughs> I missed the, uh, the ledge crap. But, yeah, this guy doesn't have me do that yet, and I don't want to, um do things out of order and get mixed up again. Now, granted, I'm not, I'm not trying to follow the guide so rigidly that I, like, miss out on interesting side things with characters or, you know, taking the game at my own pace or whatever, but I do want to get everything. And boy, am I not... I just don't have the faculties to do that on my own. Speaking of which... Gold Skull Chiller number 44 is here. We need to be on Impa's house. What was Impa's house? I think that was Impa's house. Hmm. Never eat sake. Oh. Oh no no no! It was it was over here. I remember. Oh, you can actually tell this one's metal. Weird. Okay. Oh. Aw, oh, dang. Okay, clearly I'm approaching this from the wrong angle. Either that or I'm not even going to the right house. Well, I'll find it. <laughs> I'll find it. I know it's on a roof. That's all I need to know, really. I don't want to talk to you. Please just let me leave, man. <laughs> Crimity. <laughs> mm. 
Head up the stairs to the house. Ah, it's over here. Oh, I'm sorry. I read it. I read it as southeastern, southwestern. I'm a fool. The lighting is really freaking ominous now. Cause the sky is dark. You can't see the night sky anymore, which is eerie. There we go. Ooh, kills him one hit. Very nice. Woof, there we go. Got that one. Okay. And now a quick pause and I will confirm what the next move is. All right. Thank you for waiting for us, Fauna. So I guess what we need to do first, even though, so we got the Scarecrow song. I guess you have to activate it as an adult though, which is interesting. Oh, can you not jump over there? I figured that was prime jumping. Oh no, this is too high up. Oh well. These you definitely can jump over though. Yeah. Oh! Chicken hash from the egg you were incubating. It's the miracle of life! Yeah, so right now we need to head over to Lake Hylia. Talk to, uh... Banuru, the Scarecrow, I believe. We can get over here easily now. Oh. I thought we could jump over the big ones. We jumped over the big ones in the, uh, in the ranch. Hold the phone, game. I know for a fact we can jump over the... I think I'm getting the timing mixed up again. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> and... Yeah, I have forgotten, uh... The lake is gone. The world is in a bad spot. Oh my gosh, and there's tectites everywhere. Which I did not. Hey, Bonnaroo. Hey, aren't you that fairy buddy I met a long time ago? Wow, you grew, dude. Well, here's your song. What? No, I never forget. You, you, you're the one who forgot. No, you, you're the one who forgot, aren't you? You have an ocarina, play that song, baby. All right, he did say he, he remembers any song that we make. Hey, it's the ocarina. Okay, play that song with it. I like how it peters off at the end. <laughs> so that's the tune you rock, I'm blown away. Mm, it's it's okay. <laughs> oh no no. I didn't forget the song. I never forget anything. But I just feel like rewarding you, baby. I have a good idea. My buddy Pierre is wandering around, so play that tune when you want to call him. I'll tell him to help you if he's nearby. Here's that song. 
Um, so what that does is something that I almost never used in, uh, when I played this game, because it was so confusing to me. Um, you can summon a Scarecrow to, like, hookshot to now, which I think is really, really interesting. Oh, there's this. Is there anything to do up here? Whoa. Oh, Bailey. Freaking crows, man. Oh, yeah, there's a freaking hocotate up here. wasn't in the guide. That was a very easy one to get, too. I don't know why it wouldn't have just told me to get that one. Well, you know what? Then I'm one ahead of the curve. Now it's time to head back on to Epona, and then I believe we're just heading straight to, uh... Oh. Oh, I can pick up shrubs now. They were too stuck in the ground before. That's kind of funny. That's not, like, the most useful thing, but... I'll take it. Now we can head on over. Because we got one problem at a time. Everybody's probably in trouble, but right now, sorry, I need your help. I feel like the Zelda games always have incredibly good theming. Like, across the board, I always feel like the themes explored in the stories are always, like, rock solid. And the story's always good. I like, like I don't know. I mean, particularly I guess in the in the 3D ones, anyways. I feel like the stories are always extremely good. Um, it's kind of awesome. I don't know what it is about the Zelda games that sort of seem to uh, just wait for me here, Pona. I'll catch you later. Going home, but the way the way this one explores, um, like the the classic coming of age story is interesting. Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah. So the place is a freaking nightmare. Yeah, now we don't, uh, we don't talk to these guys anymore. The Deku Babas are overgrown. The Deku Babas are overgrown and the Deku Sprouts are, um, we, there is no negotiating to them anymore. They don't talk to us. They don't have funny personalities or anything like that. They, uh... I wonder what's going on in the forest right now. I'm worried about Saria too. <clears throat> um. Yeah, we. I, I. I. think. I think that intro right there. You walk into the woods and the music kicks up and you're like, "Oh, cool, great, this is awesome." Uh, giant Deku Sprout takes a bite out of you and you kill a Deku Scrub. Those are just quicker too now. And the thing is, we know those guys had person like they're not mindless. They're not like animals or anything. They they have personalities. They have thoughts and feelings. We've spoken to we spoke to them a number of times. But then also, everybody is not outside. <clears throat> An evil wind is blowing from the direction of the forest temple. Saria left, saying, I have to do something about it. The forest temple is located in the sacred forest meadow, in the far side of the lost woods. Where's Saria? 
Do you know Sorry you missed her? That's weird. Where has Mido gone during this is such an emergency? Where is Mido? Oh, I almost forgot about Mido. Since the great Deku tree withered, more meanies have been appearing in the forest. I'm scared. Everybody's gone into hiding now. Why is that fairy following you around? You're not one of us. Ouch. <laughs> um. Ow. Okay. Hello, it's just me, Link. The guy, the boy who always wanted a fairy. Now I have one and I'm being told I'm not one of you still. Okay. Hmm. I see. You didn't have any problems entering the forest, mister. Did the meanies out there bother you much? Before the great Deku tree died, you wouldn't see things like that around here. Since it's dangerous outside, I always stay inside my house. But I'm bored to death in here. Yeah, all the I mean, the all kids, right? Like they all were out here playing, having a great time. I think was always interesting was um, this little detail. My Link's house. That shows presumably him with a sword and shield fighting a monster. <coughs> um, and now we uh, now we now we fight real monsters, and it's. Maybe not like how you'd imagine. There is a cow in my oh oh. Malin said that the the prize was too big to was too big. <laughs> she said it was too big to hand over. She gave us a cow for beating her record. Hey there, friend. Um. That's crazy. What a nice song. It reminds me of the pasture. This is a terrible place to to have to have you, Miss Cow. Wait a minute. How are you? How did Malin get you here? Did Malin help you deliver it here? How she can't enter the woods. Nobody nobody else can enter the woods except the Kakiri. Well and us, but we are a bit um it's a bit different for us. Um But what The logistics of this have me a little baffled. The song makes me feel so good, I can produce a lot of milk. Oh, that's too bad. If you had something to put it in, I could give it some, I could give some to you. I'll just cut my hands and carry it around with me until I need it. <coughs> Get away from my house. <clears throat> Absolute brutality of it all. Oh, hi. Have you been traveling around much, mister? Have you ever met a boy named Link? Mido said that the great Deku tree withered because that boy did something wrong to it. Only Saria defended Link. Till she left. Maybe we misunderstood. Oh. Oh. So that means... 
I left right after the Deku Tree withered, which does look bad, but I didn't really have a choice. Mido saw us on a way out from the Deku Tree's place, section of the forest, and then told everybody that we killed him. And the only person who defended us was Saria, but everybody only had word of mouth. And I think everybody kind of looked... I feel like Saria was like the real leader, but everybody looked to... But Mido was like the postured as a leader. So... A lot of these people probably... She's, this is the only one who's mentioned Link before. So I wonder how many of these people think that we did it because of Mido. And My Mido probably thought we did it still up till this point. Oh, the four spirits were calling for help, so I went to check it out. But it's full of evil monsters. Octorox in the water now, too. Literally everything that could go wrong is going wrong. Hey, where's the blonde one? Oh, I think I think the blonde Kokiri is in the woods now. Hi, mister. You can't use the Teku shield. It's only for kids. We sell shields, but not swords. <laughs> okay, he's still just saying the same thing. Oh, is he a kid? He doesn't look like a kid. He looks like a... It looks like the size of a child, but with like a grown man face. You can buy arrows at the shop, only if you have a bow. Have you got one? I don't. Hey, hold on really quick. I'm, I'm curious. Money trick? <gasps> no more money. You monsters. They must have picked up on my money trick. Ooh. What the heck? I don't want to go over here. I want to go that way. Does this just take me all around the woods? Around the world, around the world. Boom. There we go. Okay, I got some cash. Big Deku Baba. Not that I can use Deku sticks. Oh, he freaking went over my head. Hey, Pops. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Things are, uh... Maybe harder than either of us thought they would be. <laughs> Adventures are a little bit different in real life than they are in stories. He's actually closed off too. His mouth is shut, so we can't even we can't go in. Oh, they respawn. Oh yeah, because technically there's like a load point. Like a, there's a there's like a a hidden loading zone. What trigger? Okay, well one thing that we can do before we can enter the before we enter the woods. Oh, 
We need to get up here. Actually, we don't need to get up here. I think we just... Well, I got the hookshot now. Nice. Okay. And with that... It's weird, it's weird, proportionally speaking, when you're a kid, this place feels huge. But just being like a little bit taller, suddenly not so much. I mean, I think the biggest shock, like, is killing the Deku, <laughs> it's like killing the Deku scrubs now instead of uh speaking to them i think i think it's kind of crazy oh my thing's rumbling which means there's a grotto up here oh i can't wear um hmm. I guess you can only you can only use masks in uh, when you're a kid too. Weird. Well, I do have a note right here that that can, that tells us what this one would say, which I think is actually pretty good. Um, they say that they say that the small holes in the ground that you can find all over Hyrule make perfect breeding ground for bugs. Talking about the grottos, I guess. Um, oh, and then the gossip stones in secret grottos, because there's a one in a lot of them, uh, all share the same information. They say that the horse Gandorf rides is a solid black Gerudo stallion. Interesting. <laughs> okay, the gossip stones are gossip stones are literally just lore. They should. They should really, um, oh. Oh, I forgot what happens when you blow up the... I forgot that you can throw bombs at the Gossip Stones and they turn into rockets for no reason. It's so weird. Who is this thing? I was in my mind. Hold the phone. Oh my gosh! I'm glad I read a little bit before. I used like, th like 25 bombs. You have to play the song of storms, I guess. Then it opens. I guess I should have known after the like tenth bomb, because I mean, like the bomb radius is pretty, pretty forgiving. Jeez. Nice. I have bugs, so I don't need bugs. Another twenty rupees. Get a little bit of bombs back because, jeez, man, <laughs> that was brutal. Okay, and then really quick before we enter, 
see in a second. I'm gonna make it nighttime because there's gonna be some more sculptures to get. that it's time to revisit some old friends well I guess not just friends I was wondering where this guy went this guy makes me sad no response. He's sleeping. Oh. Huh. trying to talk to Skullkid. Oh, I can use to talk to you too? Oh, uh, yeah? One of, I guess, oh, this is how you talk to Navi on command. Interesting. Where the heck Skullkid is? if we need to come here during the day first just to see everything you know what I'm gonna do that because I feel like maybe at night because I know Skull Kid's supposed to be there according to this and I want to see him this guy no response he's sleeping <sighs> humans are not supposed to uh... <sighs> helians are not supposed to come to the woods that is that is just a fact weird No idea what Skull Kid is. I really thought he would be here. Yeah. Well, never mind then.
Wow, hold on, is it is it me? Or do the music cues not work anymore? Oh, hi Mido. What are you? Though you wear Kakira's clothing, you can't fool me. I promise sorry I would never let anybody go through here. Mido, look, it's... <laughs> the clothes. The fairy. I appreciate your dedication, man, but... <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, wait. I think it gets dim when I approach the uh, that entrance, which I which I think was just to get to the go on place. Oh, that's weird. <coughs> All right, Mido, come on. Saria plays that song all the time. You do know Saria? That song. Sorry I taught that song only to her friends. Okay. I trust you. When I see you, I don't know why, but I remember him. Oh. <clears throat> Wait, that's interesting. He says, I. Okay, he's like. Sorry, only taught, taught that to his to her friends. I trust you. I don't know why, but when I look at you, it reminds me of him. Which means maybe he, maybe he did eventually end up trusting us. I see you. I don't know why, but I remember him. Dang. I hear me a bug. Nice. In meadow, gold sculpture. So we got that, now we just need to get to the forest temple. We need to get to the secret meadow. right oh it was right oh you saw me process that for a moment right okay genuinely unnerving sounds from here on we'll be going through some narrow passages if you take it slow maybe you can sneak up on some enemies use L targeting to always look the proper direction Gotcha, Navi. Oh, oh, he freaking stuck me. Uh, he freaking impaled me, dude.
Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I can't damage these guys. Oh, I can hookshot them, though. So it has to be from a distance. A little bit of tactical espionage now. <laughs> Check something. Cool. too close. Dang, I'm getting messed up. for our doom, uh, how about a quick Gossip Stone note for the Gossip Stones in Lost Woods? Under the bridge connect connecting Kakiri Forest to Hyrule, the Gossip Stone says, They say that when non-fairy folk enter the Lost Woods, they become monsters. Which means that whatever peace <laughs> or rather, whether it was peace or solitude that that guy from the uh, from Kakarako Village, whatever he was looking for, it seems the woods have taken effect over him because he is uh, day or night he is not waking up. <laughs> Link has become a freaking hunter now. <laughs> it's kind of brutal. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, there was a secret grotto with a purple rupee in it. Hmm. Oh, right when you enter Sacred Meadow. Oh, really? It would not hurt to have some money. Well, we cleared out these guys. Ooh, the will get reset. After I... 
Oh, if you saw a Navi went up there. Hold on, that's gonna be cool. Watch this. There we go. Oh, this one's weird. <laughs> Is my game glitching out? Or is it supposed to look like this? I think it's supposed to look like this. It's rare we get, like, extended sword combat like that. I think that starts to happen a lot more when you're an adult, which makes sense. Because you actually have a sword to, uh... Hi, Pierre! Bonnaroo. I wish we could talk to him. Yeah, so you could just straight up bypass a little bit of this. I really want to know what these guys say. It's weird you can't wear masks when you're an adult. I don't know if they figure like, oh no, you two you little kids, you know? But we went through pretty much the whole thing through legitimate means, so might as well utilize our newfound technique. Oh, right in the back of the head, jeez. That's kind of grim. <clears throat> I don't remember what was in this one. Probably fairies? Yes. Um, we're not hurting bad, but might as well. Hallelujah. the end. Oh. Oh, he knocks you all the way back. Dang it, Link doesn't oh I'm not I can't really like Not bad. Got a lot of money on our way here. Of Sheik's theme. It's really good. <laughs> the flow of time is always cruel. Its speed seems to. <clears throat> I'll try this again. I don't really have like a good narration voice, but you know, I'll, I'll do my best. The flow of time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. Jeez, okay. 
hey, listen game, it's like, it's like 10 o'clock at night. I don't need you to hit me with stuff like this right now. But no one can change it. A thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. This is kind of what I meant about the Zelda games and the theming, right? Because it's sort of this idea of no matter this whole game is, is sort of like no matter what you do time moves on. Um, and I think it and I think that idea of, of time, the flow of time being an unstoppable thing <clears throat> is reflected in the sort of the gravity of the situation, of the conflict that we're, that we're put in, that we're thrown into, and how, yeah, we won't give, and how specifically Link wasn't given the choice, really, of whether to grow up and face this problem. It was inevitable, it, 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 th- it was put upon him he had to grow up so they made him grow up there was no choice because and that sort of plays into this idea that like well time is time is the flow of time is unstoppable it's unchangeable so you cannot change it you will get older and things will get harder and there's nothing you can do about that um but I like this right here, right? It's it's a thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. And so the first place you go to is where everything started, which is your home. Your home, basically your hometown, you know. And things when and you know things weren't easy. You look back and things weren't easy. They didn't always go right. You won't, maybe, you won't always accept it. Um, maybe people won't always nice of you. Maybe you won't always include it. Um, and with that, you know, when you look back at things when you're older, when you look back with hindsight, you know, everything's different <laughs> through, through an old, through the, through, through the lens of, like, older eyes. Things, things feel different you realize maybe things weren't always as good as they were or maybe you had it maybe things were better than than it felt in the moment um i definitely i connect with link this link i think specifically with not feeling like you're a part of everyone around you I feel like for as long as I can, maybe not in elementary school, but once elementary school was over, I felt a sort of shift. Other friends got other friend groups, and so did I. I met met new people as well, but in my mind, I was always thinking like, but hey, all of us, what about everybody I knew before? In my mind, it was hard for me to to come to terms with the fact that, you know, there's a before, you reach a certain age, and then there's an a- there's before a big change, and then there's after the big change. And, you know, I was stubborn, and I, I, I was stubborn, and I was lucky. I knew good people who, you know, we all eventually... <clears throat> we never lost each other, we more so just, like found each other again and everybody connected stronger when we did um i really like mido in this it's small so it's so small but you play him sorry a song and it's like after all these years it dawns on him he looks at you, and he and he remembers the kid, the the Hillian, the outcast, who who was there before him on the day everything went wrong, 
and he thinks to himself for the first time, you know, I trust him. <laughs> maybe I, maybe it was too much. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But he looks, he looks at you, he sees that kid, and he says, I trust you. And it's like, I think like for him, that's like the closest he can go, he can come to, f to f saying sorry to the young you that he's thinking about. It's by letting the older you through and trusting you, like he, because he didn't trust you when you were younger. So he's trusting this person, this adult in front of him now. But I think that's kind of the thing, right? Is that you don't... Not only do you not always get it right when you're younger and you're growing up, but let's face it, you get it wrong all the time. You get it so wrong and... So many things so wrong and you can't go back. Um, <laughs> that's why it's crazy that maybe, maybe maybe playing this game has brought this but I'm I've been sitting here every night <sighs> thinking about the people I knew in college. And college, for me, was great. It was really good. For the first time, and I mentioned this before, I'm sure, for, but for the first time, I felt like I was around people who were like-minded to me, who I understood where they were coming from. I understood what the things they said and the things they did. And we were all, like more of a unit and there was still high schooly stuff and drama and things like that things didn't always go well i was used on more than one occasion um by friends and people i really really liked and, and whom i considered that maybe i loved them and whew, things got ugly you don't always get it right you know um but there's a couple things, I'm thinking about this, just a long line of uh, people I've had feelings for in the past, and you know, it's easy when maybe things haven't gone your way at like a certain number of times, it's easy to sit there and be like, well, you know, I just never had the chance, never had the opportunity, never, that was just wasn't in the works for me. Um, but you know, when I look back, it's like, no, I was, oh my gosh, the, the road was paved with opportunities. <laughs> you just, you just didn't see them or you had spun the car around in a, <laughs> you spun the car in a different direction just cause you got scared. And I look now in the past couple of years, haven't really, uh, had those opportunities maybe like you like you do when you're in more social environments and stuff like that when you're out and about meeting new people every day but but I have confidence now that if I don't get an opportunity I recognize that it doesn't have to happen you know because it doesn't for everybody but I know now that if I met somebody now who I really liked, and who really liked me, and we connected, and it was mutual, and we both recognized that, I wouldn't chicken out this time. I would do things right this time. I'm confident in that. And I think that's what it's all about. Um, in circling back to this, <clears throat> if, there's, if there's ever something you can count on not being changed by time, it's memories of things that happened before right now. But what's important, it could be scary, but what's important to remember is that you will change and you can change. 
and you can do things better than you did them before. Just like the good memories can't be changed, the bad memories can't be changed either. So don't hold on to that harbor that and, f and let it make you feel like there's just no coming back. There's no... There's nothing to do about things from here on out. Like, oh, well, you know, I messed up before and why give it, why give it a, why even give it a shot now? No. Leave things better. Strive to do things better next time. Open yourself up to time. Let it take you where it's going to take you. <sighs> well, that's... <laughs> I, need, I needed... Ooh, I needed that. Okay. Back to this video game. <laughs> the thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. In order to come back here again, play the minuet of the forest. Link, I'll see you again.